Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. During this period of COVID-19, it will be highly beneficial to get an answer to the question, does spirituality have an effect on mental health? If the answer to this question is yes, then it will be really good to incorporate this spirituality in our day-to-day -day life. So in this video, I am going to share certain facts regarding spirituality and how we can cultivate spirituality in our everyday life. So let's get started. Spirituality is a sense of connection to something bigger than ourselves. It helps a person to look within and try to figure out how we fit into the rest of the world. Most of us think that being religious and being spiritual are the same. But these both are different concepts. Being religious is when we associate ourselves with a group who are practicing common faith and common belief. But being spiritual is an individual experience. It is a solitary experience of the divine. The most beautiful aspect of spirituality is it is experienced very differently by different people. Most of us we find spirituality in our religious devotion to the creator of the universe. But there are some people who find spirituality in practicing yoga or meditation or even in some creative expressions like dance, music, etc. The main principle behind spirituality is the sense of getting connected to something bigger than ourselves. It helps us to understand the real purpose of life. It helps us to recognize that our role in life has a greater value than what we do every day and thereby it helps us to get relieved from dependence on material things. There are a lot of research studies which have tested the effect of spirituality on a person's health. So it is not just a philosophy. You can google it up by yourself and you will be amazed to see the various research studies which have found to be very effective in improving a person's physical, mental and social well-being. First, the effect of spirituality on physical health. Various research studies have found that the mortality rate of people who are spiritual are found to be comparatively less than non-spiritual people. Studies have also found that people who are spiritual suffer from less hypertension compared to non-spiritual people. Second, on the mental dimension. Various research studies have found that people who practice spirituality experience comparatively lesser depression than non-spiritual people. Also, they are able to handle any stressful situation while experiencing only mild stress. These stressful situations may include experiencing a very severe illness or unemployment or even a divorce. Then it is also found that these people are found to be less afraid of death compared to non-spiritual people. They have a greater sense of psychological well-being. They also experience greater peace and balance in life. The last on the social dimension. Studies have found that people who are spiritual, they have very good social connections. That is, they have a very good circle of family and friends whom they can depend even in a stressful situation. Thus, spirituality is found to have a great benefit on a person's physical, mental and social aspect of their lives. There is no single right way to cultivate spirituality. But still, I am going to share few simple ways what we can adopt in our life to practice this. Number one is meditation. We can at least spend 10 to 15 minutes time in a day remaining in a calm and a quiet place. We can do meditation either by analyzing our thoughts that is reflecting on what our thoughts are or we can do meditation by reading from scriptures. These scriptures can either be holy books or it can be any good positive books. So we have to read a passage from the scripture and then take time to reflect on what this scripture means to us. Number two is prayer. When meditation and prayer goes hand in hand, miracles happen. 
Meditation is more of listening and reflecting, while prayer is more of asking and receiving. We all have our own way of praying to the divine providence. But expert says that if we can spend at least 5 to 10 minutes in prayer after meditation, that is the right way to cultivate spirituality. Number three is breathing exercises. That is learning to control our breath. Again, there are studies which proves that when we do these breathing exercises, we are able to take more oxygen inside our body and thereby the life's vitality can be enhanced. So there are a lot of YouTube videos and there are a lot of blogs on how to properly do a breathing exercises. So if we can learn at least few breathing exercises and practice them in our everyday life, that will be a wonderful way of enhancing our spirituality. Number four, count our blessings. There are many people who are obsessed with what they don't have in their lives or they are always preoccupied with their imperfections. But the truth is, we all have our own share of blessings. Uh, even when I do this YouTube video, the sound which I am able to produce, the vision with which I am able to look at this camera lens are all the blessings that I should be grateful for. Again, experts say that it is good to write down a gratitude journal. That is, to write down all the good things that happened during that particular day, just before going to sleep, is a wonderful way which will help us to appreciate the positive things in life. Number five is adding spirituality to our everyday life. That is, spirituality is not only when we sit and pray or when we sit and meditate. The joy what we receive during the prayer or during meditation should be carried on throughout the day. That is, even when we do a routine jobs like maybe cleaning of the house or maybe walking in a garden or even while interacting with our family and friends. So if we can add that small blocks of spirituality into our everyday lives, we will start to feel wonderful. The last but the most important way of cultivating spirituality is learning to surrender. That is realizing that I have a role to play in this universe and then doing my part well. But the outcome, I just surrender it to the divine providence or to the power in the universe. So when we, st when we learn to surrender, we will be amazed to find that the outcome by surrendering is thousands and thousands of times greater than the outcome which I would have received if I would have done it alone. So that is the beauty of learning to surrender and experiencing the peace which spirituality is going to give us. So as we are all undergoing a very stressful period due to this COVID-19, cultivating spirituality would definitely reward us with much more peaceful, happier and a productive life. So if you like this video, please do give a like. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and tap the bell icon so that you will be receiving my future videos. Thank you.